Hello you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm very, very glad to be back. I'm going to get into what we're doing today. Today's going to be fun, not a tutorial, but I will be doing a lot of shade comparing, first impressions, flashback testing, and things like that. So the products that are going to be featured today and that I'm going to be really, really testing out is once again, this ColourPop um, Pretty Fresh uh, Primer and the Hard Candy Hydrating Primer I'm also going to do on a the other half of my face actually it's gonna be on this side of my face so these two primers on two different sides of my face the foundation for today is gonna be the wet n wild um, photo focus foundation stick and I got it in the shade toffee pecan so the concealer that I'm gonna be testing out today and this will be my first time ever wearing will be the Maybelline instant age rewind concealer I've never tried it. It's been out forever and people say that it's very, very close to the Tarte Shape Tape and I am debating between a contour try-off, contour off type of thing because here's my thoughts. I saw this floating around on TikTok, me and TikTok. I spend all of my money on TikTok. It's the Revolution, Makeup Revolution London um, Eye Bright illuminating under eye concealer because people say it's very very close to the charlotte tilbury which is like very very great for like effortless contour and just like adding dimension to your face um but these two i also saw floating around on the internet i've seen it in multiple videos i used it briefly yesterday I went to target today and i bought another shade i have the shades f13 and f15 and the revolution makeup revolution so this is the same brand actually the makeup revolution fast base foundation so this is the original shade that i had but i just went and bought this one and it looks more cool tone and i really hope that's the case let's get into the video let's try some things out whatever so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna prime this side of my face with the hard candy hydrating primer Okay, very, very nice, nice, sticky, you know, onto the color pop. Okay, so I'm all primed, one side still looking noticeably dewier. Then the other side, I also want to mention that I went ahead and put it on my neck too. So to get straight into it, once again, I got the shade Toffee Pecan. And this is about how much product is showing. Not a lot, but this was very, very inexpensive. It was around $6, I want to say, at Ulta, which is where I got it. Not bad. But I'm going to try to show you guys my first swipe. What a lovely texture you have. I do have um, my eczema problem, so that is what I was saying. It's a very real scenario. It's a very real possibility that, you know, my eczema will show. Let's start off with the sponge i'm gonna spray it with some mario badescu spray okay let's see i'm gonna leave the brush dry and go ahead I honestly don't know if this did anything for my texture. I feel like it wasn't a bad color match. It looks less orange in person than the foundation, uh, the color pop one. But I don't know if you guys can see. It's okay. It's settling because at first I was very concerned, but it's not looking too bad. Okay, 
so as it settles it's really not bad and I definitely think that the side with the hyaluronic acid um, looks more glowier in person but they both look very nice I give it a fair shot um the most important thing about this to me is that it doesn't emphasize my dry spots but that it also doesn't give me flashback because for this to be called photo focus foundation I really really don't want to hear anything about or see anything with flashback so I'm gonna go ahead take a picture with all the lights off right now Okay, so my thoughts on the foundation by itself with the flash is that for it to be called photo focus, I wouldn't necessarily want to take photos with this. You have to try it way ahead of time and see how it reacts on your skin. It gives me flashback. I put it on my neck so it's not horrible. I would wear it and it is very, very inexpensive so it's okay, but it's not perfect regarding skin tone and if it would give you flashback you definitely want to blend this on your neck for the brightening concealer this is what i have so um i'm gonna go ahead and apply it and Okay, so this is not, to me, like the Tarte Shape Tape. Maybe I didn't put enough on there, but it's like, I don't know, it's not giving me, like, coverage. Um, so, I don't know what that's about. I'm going to try to, like, pull it a little bit and then see if I can build this up. I don't know, I feel like I see my pinkness showing through. You know, like, maybe it's just really close to my skin tone. What's getting me is that they compared it to the Tarte. They always try to find a dupe for the Tarte, and I just don't agree. I don't think it's a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape right now. But I do think that it's a really nice natural concealer. And so I think putting this on, like, your skin with no foundation will probably be, like, really pretty. Okay, so moving on, I think that I'm going to go ahead and try out the Makeup Revolution Eye Bright Concealer, and I'm going to give that a shot on my cheeks. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to start very, very little. You see that? <laughs> this will probably be really good for like under here to like make it disappear. You put it like right there. But you don't see it no more, do you? Yeah. Nope. Okay, is it me or? Did it disappear? Like, I don't see anything. Okay. I see, like, nothing. I see a little bit of product taken off right here. But other than that, I see nothing. Um, so this might be good for, like, strictly underneath the jawline. This is definitely going back, in my opinion. It just, it did nothing for me, and it's already here. But it's getting a no from me. I'm happy about it because I want to try these out anyway. So this is the shade I believe I used before. And that's what F13 looks like. I think this is going to be a similar shade to like what I just used. F15. 
darker but it's also more cool undertone yesterday i saw i looked very 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 orange and i just wasn't feeling that so today i'm gonna try out f15 on the forehead do a little draggy thing right that's okay and then do a little this okay i'm gonna just start with that for right now i'm gonna use a brush because i'm very bad with the blender maybe it just looks natural i don't know for a full glam type of thing i'm not sure if this would be it because it literally disappeared like the other one so you want natural and as well as in person it looks natural you want natural makeup revolution as far as for contour anyway so i'm also doing it on the jawline on this side I like it i don't like to look red so i think it's definitely a better shade for me than the f13 from age rewind concealer It's like literally glowing on my face, which is a good thing because I have dry skin, but damn, I'm trying to show y'all. Okay, so I'm going to pause and get my thoughts together. I think this is a natural concealer, not full coverage. I think this gives flashback and doesn't soothe the face. It's just good for giving, just not being bare. <laughs> I have yet to come up with why this would be good. <laughs> um, love this primer. I'm keeping it and it makes everything look hydrating. I think if you have dry skin and you don't want to buy a whole new uh, foundation, this primer is going to do it for you. It looks very natural. And in person, all of these things look like beautiful. So I just wanted to give that little pause right there. So next thing that I'm going to be trying out are blushes cream blushes i've never worn blush except for maybe one time i don't know how to wear blush i'm black so i got the elf putty blush and this one is in the shade i don't even know what shade this is in but it's so pretty and then i also have the milani cream blush and this is in coral crush I think because I don't know the name of this one, I'm not going to go in with it. I'm going to go in with this one today. This brush, and I'm just going to try it out. I'm not sure how you're supposed to like do blush. So I'm going to like very lightly. Oh shit. I am scared I'm going to leave this looking like I played in my mother's makeup. I'm gonna take this brush that I did all of the foundation stuff with and like kind of work that out. Okay, that easily toned it down. Okay. Oh, I think it's cute. Okay, hold on. Let me not judge too fast. I realize a lot of people have not seen me smile. <laughs> you don't need to. Blended it off on this side a little bit, but I think it's pretty, I think it's subtle. I think this shade is like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna add more on this side, not on this side. And be gentle. I looked at the light, so I can't tell if I look a fool or not. I just hope that I don't. Clean brush. So 
because I think I have more on this side now. this I'll have to like look back at it and take some pictures and see if I really like it I don't think blush is necessary but I just wanted to try it so I bought this Sephora contour kit you can't even see but it is from Sephora I promise and it reminds me very much of the Kat Von D one that I saw the reason I bought this palette is because it has some very very like cool tone shades and I'm all about the cool tone why my eyelash coming up anyway i'm all about the cool tones um but it also this one's kind of warm so that's nice if you want a warm one but these are very cool also comes with some brightening shades as well these two shades which is like a brown shade and then a yellow shade and i'm gonna like go very lightly do that kind of thing to my nose and right underneath my eye. But I am looking not warm enough. I see the blush, but I'm gonna go in with the warm shade. And they said it's very pigmented, so I'm gonna take off whatever I just did. And I'm gonna be very, very, very Two little things, put it. Is it me or does like contour not show up on me or something? Okay, I'm going to Spray my face with this because it's looking a little dry and mm, that's why my lashes come out what i will do is show you guys that i've been on a hunt for a brown lip liner and i found these two that remind me of the same thing and one is significantly cheaper and this is the la girl ultimate eyeliner yeah, this is actually eyeliner, but of course I'm using it on my lips. And the more expensive one is Juvia's Place in the shade Cola. And it's an actual lip liner. I really, 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 really like this one. But I think this one is like super, super close to it. And I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to do the Juvia's Place on this side and the Ellie Girl on this side. Oh, I forgot to mention that the Ellie Girl eyeliner is in the shade Lasting Brown. Okay, so like to me, these look very similar. I have a thing where some browns, especially with like contour products and lip liners, you go to blend it out and then it just looks red. This doesn't do that. These two shades are actually brown. Okay, so... For lipstick and lip gloss, I've been like on a hunt for nude lips and I don't know why, but my best ones that I have right now are the Milani Lavish, it's the shade 01 and it's their satin, matte satin lip. It's so pretty. Like, so pretty. You guys see how it just added, like, some life and some light to my face? I love it. Like, I love it. It's nude. There you go. You guys can see it. But I also love another lipstick that I love that's more expensive is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Naked Lipstick. That's the shade Naked. that is new right 
new, right? Yeah. So this one is a little brighter, but they're totally different. They're not made to look like each other, but they're both nice. I don't know which one I like more. I've also been on a hunt for nude glosses, and my two, two, well, these aren't my favorite. This one might be Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss, and it's in the shade Tasty. I think I'm going to go in with Tasty and show you guys what Tasty does for a, for a sister. It almost looks beige, but when you put it on top of any like lipstick or with a lip liner, of course, on your natural lips, if you have pink or red lips, it's not going to be beige. Unless, you're, unless your lips were white, that's the only way that it would come out the color that it's kind of looking. See, so kind of pretty beige and I really like the stuff that I'm getting I shouldn't be keeping all of these things but I think that I am with the except with the exception of this right here and I think I'm going to take back the lighter shade of the fast face revolution so two revolution products but I am keeping this one and I have other uh, favorites with Makeup Revolution. Like, is this his favorite? Hold on. There's so many Revolution brands. Yeah. The Fast Base one, I'm going to have to let go only because of the shade. And this one, I'm going to let go because I'm, I have no problem letting it go. It disappeared on my face. Yeah, I think these videos are fun. I'm absolutely going nowhere. And I just trying to fall in love with makeup again. I have so much makeup and I spend most of my time in the house. I don't really put it on, but I'm going to try to just do things just to do it. Even if I'm going nowhere, really, really, really hope that you enjoyed this and that you interact with me and that you stick around and see what I have in store. Cause I look forward to making more videos and doing more fun things, makeup and hair type of things. I do want to share a secret. If you are here at this point of the video, I think I'm going to do a hair install. I have a brand new synthetic wig um, that is a full frontal that I can show you guys how to install and finesse if you want to finesse a cheap wig. So you can look forward to that. I hope that I interact with you on my next video as well and that you have a great one. Bye.